Hello, my name is John McCrudden. I'm the supervisor of career services here at Paradise Valley Community College. Welcome to Paradise Valley Community College. And you're in a course right now, first year experience, which is designed to help you navigate your career management. And when I say career management, your ability to manage your choice of major, your choice of occupation and career, your ability to build skills for those opportunities while you're in school. So this course will help you figure out all the things you need to do. But I want to talk to you today about our services and career services and, and why you should stop by and some of the tools we have and resources we have. Um, so how do you become career ready? It's not just about taking courses as you'll learn in this class. It's about doing other things outside of class. It's about networking. Uh, and, and, and networking is an alien thought to a lot of young people because how do you network when you're not working? Well, I'm going to introduce another video that's called LinkedIn, and you may have heard of it. So what I want you to do is start thinking about opening up a LinkedIn account, minimizing your social media on Facebook and Instagram, because your LinkedIn account is your professional um, position to the world who you are and who you want to become professionally. So look for that uh, video as well. Um, but how do you become career ready um, outside of the classroom? The idea is you should be doing internships and you can do an internship after your first semester at Paradise Valley Community College. You should be taking leadership positions on campus with clubs and organizations. And when I say leadership positions, maybe your first year you join a club or an organization, but you eventually plan to become a leader of that organization that gives you a lot of skills you can put on your resume. Um, service learning, some of you had done service learning in high school. You continue that to develop your skills. So what is it employers look for in candidates that are applying for internships and or jobs? So think about um, the things that are on your, coming up on your screen now that are really important, that you can see you do some of these things in the classroom, but many of you do outside the classroom. So think about critical thinking problem solving. That's one of the ingredients that, uh, can, uh, that employers look for candidates on their resume. How do you prove that you're a good critical thinker and problem solver? Well, of course, getting good grades, um, suggest to the reader of your resume that you uh, were good at class and you handled all the assignments fairly well. Um, digital technology. You cannot, in today's world, uh, have a resume that doesn't have some form of capacity for technology, digital technology. And so each of you should consider a course or two um, in learning, either programming, uh, definitely how to use software programs, things like that. Uh, so digital technology is really important. Uh, teamwork and collaboration. Well, how do you prove that? You know, almost every resume says I'm a good team player, or I'm a good communicator. You have to prove it on your resume. And you do that by your leadership positions in your uh, clubs and organizations, maybe leading, leading research in your classes, those sorts of things. Maybe getting promotions in your part-time work rather than just skipping and going from one job to the other because it's got a um, maybe a dollar a, a more an hour. Resumes and people that read resumes look for continuity, and so promotions is one way to do continuity. Um, your professional ethic, um, so that relates to what I just said, is when I look at a resume and there's 10 jobs in five years, uh, that tells me that person may or may not be able to collaborate and work in a team. I'd have to check it further, but a resume that has a promotion and worked at an organization two to three years with promotion, that tells me they have probably the ability to be a team player and um, resilience, reliability, dependability, and a work ethic that's really important. Um, you know, more and more today, global, um, the, the word global comes up, uh, a global citizen, if you will. Um, how do you prove that you're a global citizen? Well, obviously taking courses about the world, economics, things like that. Language would be also important. History course, things like that. Um, so think about how you can become more global. And, 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 and that's really important. Um, the, 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 the 
one of the most important things that employers look for uh, in resumes and in, in a candidate is uh, oral and written communication. And they usually tell that by how you've written your resume and your cover letter, but they also look for evidence in your um, experience uh, in classes and, and how you did in grades and things like that. So it's really important um, to, to, to think about your oral and written communication, how you can develop that. Um, and, and, and as you all know, sometimes you get in bad habits with technology, short statements, um, abbreviations, things like that, that isn't good for your oral communication uh, in the professional world. Um, I talked about leadership. Um, developing leadership um, abilities and skills, every employer wants. So one indication of your leadership, again, leading organizations in your clubs and that sort of thing. Um, it is also important to show that you're career um, savvy, that you know um, exactly why you took your major, how your major connects to occupations. And so this is really important. And this leads me to the next tool that I'm gonna talk about. Welcome. My name is John McCrudden. I am the current Director of Career Services here at Paradise Valley Community College. I want to take this moment in time to introduce you to Maricopa Pipeline AZ. It's a wonderful tool to help you navigate through our pathways here at Paradise Valley Community College and our Maricopa system. So Maricopa Pipeline AZ allows you to take an interest inventory. So once you open up an account with Maricopa Pipeline AZ, it'll allow you to take an interest inventory and the results of that interest inventory align with the top three FOIs, fields of interest that relate to your areas of interest. Once you've identified the top three fields of interest, it then relates to the majors and the certifications associated with those fields of interest. So then you can go on to the Maricopa District uh, site and determine what colleges, Paradise Valley Community College, Phoenix College, um, Estrella College, that op offers those certifications or majors. Also, with the result of the top three FOIs from your interest area, you can also determine the occupations that relate to those fields of three fields of interest, those top three fields of interest. Once you identify those occupations, that reinforces your choice of major. But you can also look on one step further. You can take those occupations and determine what the outlook is for future outlook in salary, in employability, skills that are needed, and all of those things. But helped you write your resume as well. And then finally, the Maricopa Pipeline AZ, once you take your field of interest, once you relate to your major and certifications that relate to it, once it lets you know the occupations related to those FOIs, those three top FOIs, you can then start to look for jobs and internships. So this is all on Maricopa Pipeline AZ, and I encourage you to open up the So I'm um, done here again. Let's take a look at uh, Maricopa Pipeline AZ and how you can use this tool um, with the things we discussed in the previous slide. So to get to Pipeline a Maricopa Pipeline AZ, what you would do is go to Paradise Valley Community College's website, scroll all the way down, and on the bottom here, you'll see Career Services. So you click on Career Services, and you would click on Students. And you'll see the top step one that we want you to pursue and initiate when you start as a student um, or look into your career management is to open up a Pipeline AZ account. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna click on this link and there it is. So I've signed up and 
what the first thing you really want to do is take a look at what it offers. You can search careers, explore fields of interests, as I mentioned to you earlier, um, and search jobs as well. Find high demand careers and salaries with those careers. And so when you go into the dashboard, you'll see that it wants you to take an assessment. So when you click on take an assessment, it'll take you through the steps to take an assessment. Now, I've already done the assessment, but here you would say retake the assessment or take the assessment if you haven't taken it before. I've done the assessment, so I want to view my results. And what's nice is the top Field, three fields of interest come up. So it's talking the Maricopa language, isn't it? The top three fields of interest is a result of what you put in your interest inventory. Um, the, the, re, the, the responses you made in the interest assessment that you took. And these are mine, Applied Technology, Behavioral Science and Human Services, and Business and Entrepreneurialism and Management. So. Those are the top careers in some of these. And what you would do is go down and see where it says match strength. It relates to your results of the interest inventory. And if you want to find out more about it, you can click on helpers, electricians, or pipeliner, pipe layers. Um, go to the next level and go to maybe your behavioral science and human services to see what kind of fields come up. It tells you a little bit about the top careers. Go search and look at all of the careers that exist under this FOI. There's featured industry news that you can follow up with on articles and related careers. The, ones, the thing I like about related careers, a lot of students sometimes think they want to do something and find out that it's not exactly what they want, but a related career sometimes can be that thing that they were looking for. So it's good that they look at that as well and the related careers. Okay, and then, so let's take a look at library science teachers in post-secondary. What's nice is it talks about the skills that you need to develop and what you'll be looking for to develop to pursue that career. Knowledge, skills, and abilities. And these are things that would be on your resume if you were writing a resume and there's related careers. Okay, so let's go back to dashboard. So we, we looked at exploring careers, we looked at taking assessment. There's a whole section here that I'm going to do later on on job match profile. What Par uh, Maricopa uh, Pipeline AZ offers is as you complete your profile, companies can find you. As long as you make it public, companies can um, email you through Pipeline AZ, uh, connect with you, and um, you can start having conversations with companies as well. But you see up, up here where it has career exploration. See there it says assessment, which you've done jobs and careers, you can look for jobs, and I'm gonna do another um, uh, slide on jobs, just jobs. Um, and you see where it says education? What I like about this is this, again, helps us with pathways. There's over a thousand degrees and certifications at our Maricopa 10 colleges. How do you make a choice? Well we've done this pathways where depending on your field top three fields of interest you can then search for majors and certifications so let's take a look at my second one which was behavioral science and human services 
and I'm going to hit search. And what we do is we find there's 387 results of degrees or certifications that relate to that FOI. So we look at it and it tells you where it's offered. And you can look at all of these lists. Now here's one at Paradise Valley Administration of Justice. I'd like to find more about it. So I'll click on it and it tells me a lot of information. It's a certificate. Total credits is 15. And some of the courses. What you'll learn, and this is really important um, to see if it lines up with what you think um, this a career is about. And then it talks about career opportunities to see if they align with what you were thinking about. It talks about the course sequence. And here we go, are the courses that you'll be taking. So this gives you a lot of the academic information that I suggest you look at it before you have your meeting with your academic advisor. Okay, so um, this is Pipeline AZ with the education section that we looked at. Um, and again, you can go back and take a look at some others, uh, say your second or third FOI is Health Sciences. You hit search, and here are the programs. So there's 174 results. And isn't that wonderful? You can do through it, do an assessment, and then from that assessment, take the thousands, over a thousand degrees and certifications that we offer and narrow it down to 174. That's still a lot to look at it, but it's manageable. And you can look through uh, some of these. Uh, you can narrow it down by the school, or you can narrow it down by the certif certification, the degree program, what you're getting, or the topic. And you can see that there's 18 pages for the 174 um, to look through. And here's one at Paradise Valley Community College, American Indian Studies, and it gives you all the information you need to know It's an associate's degree, not a certification. What the academic plan is. Total credits. What you'll learn. And career opportunities. And this is wonderful because it then gives you an opportunity to do some research on these career opportunities. Hourly wage. Some interesting information. Okay, so that's the initial uh, introduction to Pipeline AZ. I wanted you to know a little bit about it. Um, I'm going to then go into um, some of the other areas of Pipeline AZ in the dashboard. Um, we're going to talk about the job match profile um, and then the, also the job search uh, later in, in another slide. Um, I think you'll find this tool very helpful. Two things that you should be doing while you're in um, school here at Paradise Valley Community College and what kind of things you should be working on uh, to build your skills, to build your resume. And you can see it's a four semester career management plan. And what does that look like, your four semesters here at Paradise Valley? Well, the first thing is we've shown you what you should be doing uh, as it relates to work-based experience, which could be internships job shadowing, 
um, service learning. So your semester one, start to think about continuing service learning that you did uh, maybe in high school. Um, we have a number of alumni career panels regularly during the semester. Look for those opportunities to meet with and listen to the stories from alumni. We have a job shadowing program. All you have to do is go to the career page and you can participate in the job shadow and meet with, with alums and talk a little bit about your career. And you'll hear, you'll hear the term co-curricular and what that is is clubs and organizations how you can, outside the classroom, participate in clubs, develop some skills. So semester one, think about that. Semester two, continue some of those things. And one of the differences would be uh, maybe doing in co-curricular with your clubs, maybe taking on a leadership uh, position, um, like a secretary or a vice president, and developing those organizational skills, those communication skills, those leadership skills, uh, organizing skills that you can put on your resume. Semester three, again, continuing, but now looking for more formal types of opportunities, work-based experience opportunities, which could be internships, uh, maybe even a capstone class, uh, definitely looking for some advanced classes, uh, maybe something called the e-portfolio that you'll have an opportunity to develop in classes, uh, and definitely some research, particularly if you're in science in that area. And then uh, semester four, if you haven't done any of these things, make sure you do them in semester four. Uh, maybe doing an intern, definitely doing an internship, some research um, opportunities, uh, continue maybe doing job shadowing <coughs> and developing your e-portfolio. So there's different levels of career management. When you're in your first semester, you do what's career exploration. Clearly in this class, you'll be doing career exploration, looking some occupations, looking at what they do, looking some of the skills of those occupations. Then you'll do some career exposure. Um, and career exposure is actually wh where you actually develop some skills. Um, maybe in a part-time work, of course, uh, maybe working in a club or an organization, taking a leadership position and putting yourself in positions to develop skills. Um, career engagement, um, participating in an internship, um, uh, possibly job shadowing, uh, engaging with maybe people in their field, in their profession, finding out more information. And all we've done here is shown you how to map that out. And you see semester one features service learning and first year experience. Semester two features service learning, but then leadership. Semester three features a practicum or an internship, um, maybe even a job shadow. And then maybe semester four, an internship in the portfolio. Down in the bottom, you see we talk about self-assessment. That you've done in class with taking an interest assessment like you've done in Maricopa Pipeline AZ that relates to maybe some of the the, the, the skills that you need to develop, the major that you would need to take, that sort of thing. The other thing I want you to think about is networking. Um, I told you a little bit about LinkedIn. I'd like for you to open up a LinkedIn account and to view our video on the career website about the alumni career um, module on LinkedIn and how to connect with alumni. Professional credentials, obviously developing your resume, your cover letter, and your interviewing skills, uh, you can do through career services.